non-cooperative individuals who in this perception are not taking him seriously. It is this approach that has basically defined this anti-drug campaign in which a few thousand drug suspects have been brazenly killed in police operations. This brutal show of force has been enough to frighten and compel hundreds of thousands of others to surrender, have themselves detained or simply listed down for monitoring and rehabilitation. In their minds, to be included in the list of drug surrenderers serves as an assurance that they won't be targeted for killing. This deadly assumption has proven wrong countless times. But this use of fear factor has not been confined to the drug campaign only. Mr. Duterte has silenced most of the political opposition by jailing the outspoken Senator Lila de Lima on the incredible charges of conspiring with detained drug lords to trade in illegal drugs when she was Justice Secretary. She was supposed to be free because there is no case against her. But she has stayed behind bars. What else? By going after the Chief Justice herself, he has likewise warned the judiciary not to question or strike down any of his decisions. He has stayed mainstream media by attacking the biased reporting of the Philippine Daily Inquirer, the ABS-CBN Media Broadcast Network, and the digital news portal Rappler. But he does not stop there. He pursues his case against the owners by pointing to their various liabilities as business entities rather than as professional news organizations. That is why PDI has been sold. Hindi na sila ang may-ari. Pinagbili na doon sa may-ari ng San Miguel Corporation. Kaya mayroon nag-change din ang presidency ng ABS-CBN. Ang moves. He studied very subtle. But still Lopez. Still Lopez. Now, I'd like you to critique. Alright? As I said, don't take this simply as is. We need to do analysis. Okay, later I will show you masusin pag-iisip template, the analysis factor. Here, and then we go into response in here. Okay? It's 12.20. I'll see you at 2.30. Okay, back. Have your lunch and then 